Grade 4 math, number 31, problem solving to multiply two-digit numbers. I'm going to do some word problems. And when we do word problems, there's a few rules that we need to follow. And they actually will help us. The first thing we have to do is read the problem carefully to understand the information. Then we need to underline or circle the important information. Then we need to draw a diagram or chart to understand the information and put it out in front of us so we can really look at it. Then we need to put it into an equation, and then we need to solve it. So here's our first problem. In the year 2013, Emma's cell phone store sold an average of 28 Android phones each day in each of her store's 14 locations. So do you see the important information right now? She sold 28 phones in 14 different locations. So if they need to find out how many that is, we need to multiply that right away, right? So that's in the year 2013. In the year 2014, she sold an average of 32 phones, but in 2014, her company grew to 17 locations. How many more phones were sold in 2014 than 2013? So we need to know how many more were sold in that year than that year, okay? So the first thing we're going to have to do is figure out how to put this information together, all right? We've underlined the important information, but now we need to draw a chart. And here's our chart. Here's the year 2013. Here's the year 2014. In 2013, she sold 28 phones in 14 locations. In 2014, she sold 32 in 17 locations. So we need to multiply these. Once we multiply these and get the answers, we need to find out how many more were sold in this year than that year. So we need to subtract this number from that number. So, this is what our equation is going to look like. 32 times 17, which is that number, minus 28 times 14, which is that number. And when we do this equation, we'll have our answer. We'll know how many more she sold in 2014 than 2013. So let's do that. 4 times 8 is 32. We carry the 3 and put the 2 down. 4 times 2 is 8, 9, 10, 11. We put that here. Now it's time to do the ones over here in the tens place. One times eight is eight. It goes here because we're multiplying the tens place. We have to get rid of this carryover because that was from the ones. One times two is two. We add these up and we get two and a nine and a three. So in 2013, she sold 392 phones. Now let's find out how many she sold in 2014. 7 times 2 is 14, we carry the 1 and put the 4 down. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 1 more is 22. Now we have to get rid of this carryover because that was from the 1's place. 1 times 2 is 2, it goes here in the 10's place because we're multiplying 10's, and 1 times 3 is 3. We're going to add these up, 4 comes down, 2 and 2 is 4, and 3 and 2 is 5. So now we know that in 2014 it was 544 and we know in 2013 it was 392. Now we need to do our subtraction, don't we? Okay, so let's stack them so that we could subtract them easier, okay? 544 minus 392, all right? 4 take away 2 is 2. Can you have 4 and take 9 away? No, so we got to borrow from the 5. It becomes a 4, and the 4 becomes a 14. 14 take away 9 is 5, and 4 take away 3 is 1. So we have a difference of 151. 151. That's how many more phones she sold in the year 2014 than 2013. Isn't that amazing how we were able to do that? Lots of steps to it, but we were able to do it, weren't we? You have to sort out the information, Make yourself a chart, figure out what you need to do, make an equation, and then solve it. And remember that parentheses are always solved first. Then you multiply or add or subtract. So if the multiplication is in the parentheses, then of course you're going to do those first. Let's try one more. For two weeks, Tala's Bakery sold an average of 72 muffins every day. Of those muffins, 15 were chocolate chips. How many muffins were sold during the two weeks that were not chocolate chip? So we need to find out how many were not chocolate chip, don't we? 
Well, we know 15 were, all right? And we know she sold 72. So we need to figure out how we can take these chocolate chip ones out of the total. So we should probably subtract the 15 from the 72, right? The other thing we need to realize is we need to know how many muffins were sold during the two weeks. And this is an everyday th number. So how many days are in a week and how many days are in two weeks? So we have to figure that out too. There's seven days in a week. So two weeks would be seven times two, which is 14 days. Okay? So this is what our equation is going to look like. 72 minus 15 times the 14 days. See? The number of muffins minus the chocolate chip ones times the days of two weeks. So, 72 muffins take away 15 muffins. 2 take away 5, you can't do it. So the 7 became a 6, and the 2 became a 12. 12 take away 5 is 7. 6 take away 1 is 5. So there's 57 other types of muffins. Now we need to multiply it by 14 to find out how many sh she sold for the two weeks. 4 times 7 is 28. We carry the 2 and put the 8 down. 4 times 5 is 20, plus the 2 is 22. Now we have to get rid of that carryover because now we're going to be doing this side. And that was for the 1's. 1 times 7 is 7. And it goes here in the 10's place because we're multiplying the 10's place. And 1 times 5 is 5. Now we add. We drop the 8. 2 and 7 is 9. And 2 and 5 is 7. She sold 798 other muffins in the two weeks. See that? We underlined the important information. We wrote our equation, and then we took the steps to solve it, and we did that for each one. Okay? So, read the problem, underline or circle information, draw a diagram, write an equation, and then solve it. That's the steps to problem solving for a word problem. We're going to come and uh, talk about division next. We're going to get into our division series. So I hope I'll see you there. Bye.